Today is the unofficial start to summer, but with a pandemic in place, it's a little more challenging to enjoy the warm weather. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Gila Malamed shows us how Western New Yorkers are finding a way. Hot weather. It's beautiful outside. And all that comes with it. I'm really sweaty. I've been sweating all day. Has made its way to Western New York and not a minute too soon. Try to be outside. Been cooped up for so long the last couple months. There are limits on how people can enjoy, such as gatherings of 10 or fewer, social distancing, and don't forget, health experts advise people to wear masks when they can't practice safe social distancing, even if you're outside. Many at Delaware Park found an empty spot of grass or a shady tree at least six feet away from another group. From Canal Side to the Erie Canal, kayakers took to the water. Bikes just went on a bike ride with my family. And boats are out in abundance. Dan Mayer says he's doing what he would on a typical Memorial Day, but with a roommate instead of a larger group of friends. Play some tennis today, go back home, do some grilling. Nothing too crazy, but definitely trying to be outside for the nice weather. And while tennis courts are open once again, basketball courts remain closed, meaning Lisa Tardy and her family have a new space for workouts. Enjoying a little bit of weather with the family, working out, a little bit of bike ride, a little bit of exercise. This is what we're doing instead of being indoors. Tom Swaxo wishes more places were open, but above all is happy to finally be outside. It's been inconvenient at times, but you know, you got to make the best of it. Just try to get outside as much as you can because you know, it will snow sometime soon. One place you won't find Western New Yorkers today, campgrounds. Governor Cuomo gave them the green light to reopen, but many in our area are still closed. The Parks Department tells me they're working on plans to reopen them safely and we'll have more details soon. In Buffalo, Gilat Muhammad, 7 Eyewitness News.